Greetings, Benjamin J. from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that Lionel motor. Now, this is out of that 8213, and this is uh, was an electronic-controlled motor. It had a circuit board in it, and, of course, it uses a CAN motor. Now, this motor was dead as a proverbial hammer. The electronics had gone out. The circuit board had been submerged in water. So the motor wouldn't do anything. It wouldn't run, didn't even buzz. It was absolutely dead. So... These motors, these uh, CAN motors are DC. They will only run on DC voltage. So I hooked up DC to the track to make sure the motor was good, and it was. So, in order to run it on AC, of course, you have to rectify AC into DC. So I took the old circuit board and scavenged two diodes off of it. One is there, one is there. I haven't even soldered these yet. I've just got them twisted around the wires. And I just wanted to do a quick video so you can see the results. We have effectively installed the diode, so the motor will now run on standard track power. As you see. So a CAN motor, a DC motor running on AC, just by installing a couple of diodes. So it's a great way to resurrect a Lionel motor where the electronics have gone out. If it uses a CAN motor and the electronics have gone out, it's never going to run again unless you want to run it on DC. But this way, all you have to do is install a couple of diodes, and that uh, rectifies the AC into DC, and the motor is up and running. Now, diodes, of course, are called semiconductors, and the reason they're called that is because they only conduct electricity in one direction. And so I've got uh, one diode facing this way on this side, facing this way on this side. So we're effectively converting AC into pulsating DC. Actually, to do this correctly, you need two diodes and at least one capacitor. But in this case, this is good enough for doing the test. And it's a really simple way to get one of these motors up and running. Like I said, this is a DC only motor. It will not run on AC at all. So I just want to make sure it was good. So I set up the uh, uh, DC transformer and supplied DC to it to make sure the motor was good, and it was. And so I took the old circuit board and scavenged two of the diodes off of it. It was actually the integrated circuit on the uh, uh, circuit board that had gone out. So by adding these two simple diodes, we convert AC into DC and the motor is up and running. So I can take this as is right now, drop it back into a Lionel shell and I will have a running Lionel locomotive that will run on standard track power. Really, really simple to do this. As you see, two diodes. Now this runs forward only, but it runs. That's the important thing about it. It actually runs really, really well. So it's far from perfect or efficient, but it works. That's the important thing. And it brings these old motors back to life. So I just uh, installed two diodes that I scavenged off that circuit board. As you see, one there, one there, one on the positive lead, one on the negative lead, if you want to say that. And uh, like I said, I haven't even uh, soldered them in position. I've just got them twisted around the wires. And it works. It actually works quite well. So a DC CAN motor running on standard track power. And all it takes is two diodes. You can actually run it on one diode, but uh, you don't have a whole lot of power that way. But this works. It actually works quite well. So a DC motor running on standard AC track power, as you see, and running quite well, in fact. So the motor itself is pulling one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars. Three of them are lighted. So it works. Like I said, it's uh, an expedient, no doubt. But it will get a Lionel locomotive running when the electronics have failed. Anything that uses a DC CAN motor, all you have to do is add two diodes and you can run it on AC track voltage. It actually runs quite well. So anyway, this is crude, but it's effective and it works. And it will resurrect a motor and it will get it up and running in just a matter of a few minutes. So this is nothing but a frame, that can motor, and two diodes. 
plus the contactor on the uh, the bottom of course but it works that's the neat thing about it it actually works really really well and it gets these can motors up and running on standard AC track power just by adding two simple diodes like I said I scavenged these off the original circuit board so it runs forward only but it runs this thing was dead as the proverbial hammer it would not run at all so just by adding these two simple diodes it converts uh, AC into DC and gets these motors up and running anyway it's a good trick to know it's really simple it costs nothing in this case as I scavenged those diodes directly off of the old circuit board now the circuit board is uh, has an integrated circuit on it and uh, the electronics were gone it just it wouldn't do anything at all so all I needed was two diodes so rather than uh, having to order them I just tried to scavenge them off of the original circuit board this was the result like I said I haven't even soldered them I've just got them twisted around the wires so it effectively converts AC into DC and allows you to run these CAN motors on standard track power as you see it actually runs really well so I can put this back in a uh, Lionel shell and have a running locomotive where all I had before was a junk motor because there is these simply will not run on AC voltage so just by installing two diodes uh, changed everything and the uh, motor as far as it's concerned is running on DC and uh, the nice thing about it of course is we're running it on standard track power no muss no fuss really simple way to do this like I said it's a good trick to know so if you have a Lionel locomotive where the electronics have gone out and it won't run you have a choice you can uh, replace the electronics in this case that circuit board was about twenty seven dollars now it seems really really redundant to spend thirty five dollars with shipping to repair a ten dollar locomotive so as an expedient uh, I just used uh, two diodes to convert AC into DC to run this uh, can motor and it's up and running just absolutely splendidly like I said it's far from perfect but it's running. You can see the motor itself is pulling all this weight. So a couple of diodes and it converts the AC power into DC to power that CAN motor. And it works. It's really simple and it costs nothing. So I can take this motor and put it right back into a uh, Lionel shell. Uh, solder these diodes in place. Get it everything tied down and sorted out so it's a nice wiring and I will have a locomotive that runs on standard track power really difficult to beat that anyway I just wanted to do a quick video on this it works it works really well two diodes and this DC motor is running on AC just absolutely perfectly quiet smooth constant speed all the way around the track that's about 60 percent power like I said, it isn't super efficient, but it works. And to do this correctly, you need two diodes and at least one capacitor. Like I said, you can run it on one diode. It gives you pulsating DC and it will at least run the motor. But in this case, two scavenged diodes and the uh, locomotive is up and running. So just a quick video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email, benstrains at gmail.com. And as always... Thank you for watching.